Hey guys, buckle up because today, we're diving into a story about Parker Schnabel and Mitch Blaschke, two names that have become legendary on Gold Rush. This isn't just any episode, it's one filled with frustration, tension, and a breakdown that put Parker's operation on the line. Get ready to learn how the breakdown of one machine pushed Parker over the edge, forced Mitch to think fast, and left fans with more questions than answers about what's next for these gold hunters. But before we dive into the heart-pounding drama, let's rewind a bit. Mitch Blaschke isn't just another member of Parker's team, he's the guy everyone relies on to keep their operation running smoothly. This isn't a man who went to school to learn mechanics. Oh no, Mitch is entirely self-taught, starting from scratch in his teens and building up the skills that have made him Parker's right-hand man. In a field where machines are literally worth their weight in gold, Mitch's know-how is what keeps the sluice boxes full. He's been the difference between success and ruin more times than we can count. But here's where things take a turn. Last season, Mitch nearly had to step back after an injury that left fans worrying if he could continue at the same high-stakes pace. Yet, he fought back, proving his dedication to the team by returning at full force, ready to handle whatever came his way. Just when fans thought Mitch had conquered his challenges, disaster struck again. And this time, it was big. Mitch was in charge, overseeing two critical wash plants, Big Red and Lucifer, both of which play a massive role in Parker's mining operation. These wash plants are designed to separate gold from tons of gravel and dirt, and every hour they're down is money lost. Parker's away on a trip to Alaska, finalizing plans for a mining claim, trusting that Mitch would keep things running smoothly in his absence. But as soon as Parker's back was turned, catastrophe hit. The super stacker, a crucial piece of machinery for moving heavy loads of paydirt to the sluicer, breaks down. Now, this isn't just a hiccup in the operation, it's a full-blown disaster. No super stacker means no dirt moving, which means no gold. And no gold means no payday. In moments like these, Mitch's quick thinking skills are everything. But when crew member Alec discovers a significant leak in the cylinder, the situation goes from bad to worse. It's not just a loose part or a minor fix, this is a make or break moment, and Alec has no idea how to solve it alone. Mitch arrives, and the expression on his face says it all. He immediately knows they're in deep trouble. To make matters worse, there's no spare plug in sight. As if they needed more bad news, they find out it's almost impossible to source this part anywhere near the mine. But Mitch doesn't panic. He puts his mind to work and comes up with a crazy solution. If they can't find the plug, they'll take it off a decommissioned rock truck sitting nearby. It's risky, but Mitch knows they don't have many options. Cue the race against time. Mitch and Alec search through an old rock truck, pulling apart the engine to get to that crucial plug. They scour every inch, but every plug they find is either too large or simply unusable. Alec's frustration mounts, but Mitch, displaying the leadership that's made him Parker's go-to, pushes him to stay focused. And, finally, they find one that looks like it might just work. The team rushes to install it, hoping that this part will be enough to save the day. But it doesn't end there. Parker returns, and let's just say he isn't pleased. You can practically see the steam coming out of his ears as he assesses the situation, watching as Mitch and the crew scramble to get the super stacker running again. For Parker, this isn't just a breakdown, it's a sign that things aren't being handled with the level of precision he expects. And when he learns about the impact this mishap has had on production, the frustration is clear. Finally, the machines are connected, and the paydirt starts flowing again. It's a huge moment. Everyone on the crew can feel it. The tension lifts as they realize they're back in business. After a quick debrief, Mitch walks Parker through the repairs, explaining how the super stacker broke down and how they managed to fix it. Parker knows he made the right choice with Mitch. They may have lost time, but they haven't lost hope. At the end of the week, it's time for the ultimate test, the gold way in. Despite the breakdown and the setbacks, the team is on edge as they pile up the gold they've managed to extract. When they tally it up, the numbers are nothing short of astonishing. Over 1,228 ounces of gold. Against all odds, the crew didn't just hit their target, they crushed it. And that's why Mitch Blaschke is a hero on Gold Rush. His problem-solving skills, calm under pressure, and sheer determination to get things back on track show why he's Parker's go-to guy. Even when things look impossible, Mitch finds a way to make it work. What's even more inspiring is how Mitch balances the intense pressures of mining with a fulfilling personal life. Off-screen, 
He's busy preparing for another addition to his family and staying connected with fans through social media. And his cameo account? Fans rave about his down-to-earth personality and dedication, a testament to the humble and hard-working man behind the miner. So, if you're as excited to see what happens next as we are, be sure to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more stories from the world of Gold Rush. Mitch's dedication, resilience, and quick thinking remind us that sometimes, it's not just the gold in the ground that counts but the grit and the determination to dig it up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.